we got our hands on Donkey Kong DLC for Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle for a second time during E3 2018 and we got to capture it and we're gonna bring you the new footage today. Hello everybody, Gabe from Switch Force here and this game, this DLC is still a ton of fun. I am really looking forward to the release of this. Here I'm just looking for uh, the weapons. I'm making sure that we have the best weapons equipped um, and what we are gonna be seeing here is one of the new enemy types in the game as well as one of the new like battle criteria in the game one of the things you have to do to, to finish the battle it's a really really fun time and of course we'll get into it when we see it here but yeah my updated impressions are that i cannot wait for this to be fully released uh we just had octo expansion release and that's some really good dlc this appears to be super awesome dlc they are saying that it might be up to 10 hours so i'm very 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 excited here you get a, a look at some more of the weapons here for cranky as well that um the flamingo one is is particularly fun but with that out of the way let's go ahead jump into the battle here uh in a moment and uh again show you guys a new enemy type they've done a very good job with mixing that up the enemy types as well as uh the way that the battles work but let's get in here <laughs> Alright, so, defeat all summoners, that is the new criteria, and summoners are the new enemy type I was telling you about. Bebo says, it's raining ink-filled coconuts, ouch! And here we're gonna get our look, our first look, at the summoners. Alright. They're incorrigible invokers, and they do exactly what it sounds like they do. Uh, if my readings are correct, those are summoners. Uh, people's going a little fast. We must defeat the summoners, otherwise we'll fight an endless uh, battle. So they continue to just summon enemies and you have to fight them. So we have four summoners here. I kind of just like look around trying to uh, get a gauge for where they are. And of course you want to do it within a certain amount of turns. Uh, because they do summon enemies quite often as you guys will see in a little bit. But yeah, I, I love the way that they're mixing this up. It's not just anymore, hey, just, you know, take out X amount of enemies. Uh, as Donkey Kong... Right, you have the ability to grab enemies and grab allies and cover and throw them. So that's the very first thing I'm thinking here. Why not just throw uh, Cranky over here? He'll get some damage going. Um, but I, I kind of messed up because I did damage to Donkey Kong. I wasn't very careful and still being new to Donkey Kong and Cranky, I I'm not a hundred percent with with how their mechanics are. But it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and get the kill there because we just throw him off with our boomerang banana boomerang bananas are, are super fun one, one of my favorite the new additions to the game is donkey kong kind of messed up and you know one of our turns is probably wasted there but it's okay i think we'll still be all right uh, we move rabbit peach on over try to get the hit here it is an only 50 percent chance but i don't have a lot of other options unfortunately because it's so far away so we go for it and we do miss and it's okay so, shield up, then enemies turn. Luckily, these uh, summoners aren't too big of a deal to, like, just deal with. Like, it, it, it'll, it'll be fine. Um, but, yeah, uh, I did see firsthand how they continue to summon enemies over and over and over. And if you're not careful, you can be easily overwhelmed. That is not something I want. That's not something you want. That's fun for no one. So, it's going to be the enemy's turn here. So coconuts rain down, now it's the enemy's turn. Luckily, we use our ability over here, do a little bit of damage, we have vine power now, so... Yeah, these summoners are, are quite annoying. Alright, so the hero's turn once again trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with Donkey Kong because like I said I messed up with him quite a bit uh, can't grab uh, cranky again that's not happening but what I can do is uh, use those um, blue panels here to jump to the other side of the map completely which is also what I want because if I can grab rabbit peach and take her up here with me she can get a good shot off at, at this uh, summoner here and we will have a decent shot of taking him down so that's probably what we end up doing here Go ahead and take cover as well. Uh, grabbing the allies is, is one of my favorite things because you just like make them into a little ball and you take them with you. It's it's kind of cute. So there you go. We take it clear of the ink that she had. Throw her over there and boom. Now we both have open shots at 
the summoner here, who has 98 health. Alright, throw the banana. 70, that's not quite enough to take him down. But we do have Peach as well, and she is going to finish the job for us uh, right here. Uh, once we eventually use her move. But uh, for now, I'm trying to figure out where to move Cranky, because I can't really do much. He's very limited by being this far off. They do space out the, the summoners quite well. But hey, look, we are able to get the kill with uh, Cranky instead of Peach. I completely forgot I had done that. Alright, so now that it's Peach's turn, Peach can move. And, and she has the ability to move quite a bit. So he's way up there. Uh, but there are two of them though, so I don't know if maybe we'll go through this log here in a moment, but that's probably what I should have done, <laughs> looking back on it. Yeah, no, no chance at, at attacking there, so we're just going to give the enemies their turn uh, for the most part, just making sure that there's nothing I can do. And, uh, oh, it looks like we can use our, our little lobster thing uh, to go up there and uh, inflict some damage after all. Boom, there you go, critical hit, out of bounds, that was a good one. He still has some health, unfortunately. We didn't take him out. But now there's only two summoners left, and here they're actually going to start summoning. Uh, the ink coconuts, once again, we get lucky, and they don't really, like, hit us. I mean, and it is, like, completely random where they fall, so... Summoners are about to do their job and summon. Boom, so now there's another enemy that wasn't previously there. And he is causing a little bit of damage, not much. Inflicted vampire. But now another enemy shows up. So yeah, if you don't take out those summoners right away, and they're able to summon these darn new, like little nuisances, yeah, it becomes an, an issue. With 29 health up there, that summoner doesn't bother me much. Uh, Peach is taking some damage, but she can heal. So uh, again, not something to be incredibly worried about. Uh, with Cranky, if uh, we can do one of these jumps, that that'd be pretty good. The the area effect is yes, just enough to reach. Let's see how this goes. Alright, we did 40 and freeze. But we're going to be able to take him out, so I'm not really worried. Boom, another summoner is down. We get a golden shot. Bananas all over the place. We're probably going to want to collect those. What's a Donkey Kong themed game without bananas? Absolutely nothing. So let's go ahead and grab those bananas. Now beyond that, Donkey is... He's, he's, he's kind of left out a bit because there's not a lot he can do uh, he's a little far off unfortunately so he, he's not going to be of much help <clears throat> but we can throw the um, if we wanted to I don't think we're going to but we can throw the, the block there as well so yeah then it just becomes about traversal and trying to get as close as humanly possible Alright, so we finally decided we're going to move with Peach. She's moving right over here. Not a lot she can do right away. But, you know, I, I, trust me, there is a method to my madness and the little dumb things I do. Alright, so target's harder range for Donkey Kong. He can't do anything. We're going to have to pass the turn. But I am quite confident that the next turn, we should be able to do our thing. One of the coconuts gets very close to hitting Cranky, unfortunately. Uh, we do have one of them sleeping. He has charged the summoners charging up the little summon power, uh, which we don't want. Peach takes some damage, but now it's our turn. The heroes finally get a turn to do some stuff. And Cranky's gonna have a, a pretty like decent like shot like right away. He he, he isn't very uh, far from this at all. So if we can get there, give some damage, to, uh, and then we also have Peach readily available to do some damage it'll be very very quick here so this summoner is going to be pretty much down for hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, little clip here and uh, see that they are doing very cool things with battles now uh, there is also a, another mode which i'll probably make another video on which um, shows a completely different type of battle we get the push damage and that pretty much seals this summoner's fate Run, you curs! Run! Tell the other curs that Bebo's coming! Alright, so there we have it. The battle has been cleared, and I believe we did it under the allotted time for uh, getting a perfect... Let's see. Yep, four out of five turns. We did it. Max of bananas. 
And uh, we got ourselves a gold trophy as well with a trophy bonus and a rune. So yeah, uh, there we have it. Let us know what you think about Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle in the comments below. Like I said, cool new battle here with a, a new enemy type. Uh, if you're excited for it, sound off. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video in any way. You guys are fantastic. Of course, uh, there are uh, puzzle elements and all to the game. It's still super, super cool. Uh, we will catch you on the next one. Follow us on Twitter and Discord. Links in the description. Switch Force, out.